The brother just got his arm cut off. Vegeta just got punched out so many times. You know what I mean? Like, what up? We're back with another video. I'm here to watch this whole um, legend scenario. If you like Dragon Ball Z, if you like anime, if you like uh, fighting, you like fight scenes, you like all that stuff, uh, stay tuned because uh, I just hopped on YouTube this morning. I saw this video it came out like 10 days ago and I was like, oh my God, let me check it out. It said legend. It's saw Vegeta there. I'm like, what's going on? It looks like a Nintendo 64 video game. Read all that there. Um, and so I was like, let me check it out. And he's doing a whole dedication thing to, in there he gave a dedication to all, all of us, the fans, uh, people who studied animation, people that thought they could train in, uh, you know, X amount of degree, uh, times gravity and all that good stuff. Things that only Dragon Ball Z fans really understand. So uh, shout out to this guy for really doing something dope. King Vegeta's out here. He looks like an old, uh, you know, like, if you look at the name of the guy, you can tell, like, it's either, like, a Bangladeshi or an Indian or something. Uh, somebody from one of those countries um, where the brown people got some pseudo-straight hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Most of my country is half Indian, so... Um, and I have a little bit of that in my genetics, uh, so I know what I'm talking about. Just how stupid can you be? Uh... Have we ever met? <laughs> that fight, that punch, that punch, that punch that Goku got was cool. Uh, it was a great way to ex exit the scene. Uh, for a fan animation, this is pretty high level. And I also did some research after checking this out. The guy who did this project, he actually worked in Castlevania and a, a couple other projects that are new. Is that all you can say for yourself? This dude came out of nowhere. So, I thought this was Vegeta. For those who might think this is Vegeta, because, you know, Vegeta just left. There's some, some really cool storytelling elements that he put in there. Uh, So then the ship comes down, okay, and then we look at the fact that uh, I saw some reaction videos and some of the guys uh, were saying that why well, didn't it create uh, uh, do some do some more damage in the with the stadium and everything. Yeah, it's a fan it's a fan fiction. It's all fiction anyway. Uh, and I didn't even realize the over 9,000 thing until just now. I uh, saw some other guys pointed out in the video. So, um, well, you know, when I saw them react to it. It's not every day that a king leaves his throne. But for you, I make a royal... I love those shots where the camera goes around the subject. You know, it makes you feel like it's a real camera because somebody drew that. Shout out to all the animators. Shout out to those that can draw this, that title behind it, and, and all that legendary stuff. That's number one. That transformation is crazy. And that text looked like, it looked, gave me very Bollywood, very Indian vibes, very, um, very of that area vibes. Gold, you know, the, um, the tie also have a similar aesthetic. If you look at Ong Bak. And a couple other, like, Muay Thai. Yamcha's yeah, outfit change, by the way. Shout out to RDC for noticing that. Saiyan legend, hear me! Today, a god... Yeah, like, look at these drawings. Like, um... And these are, for me, I'm really out here for the animators as well, because I studied animation. And if you freeze frame a lot of these, man... And so that gave me very Hades. And I was trying to figure out what that reference was from. I was like... Remember when Hades got mad in the Hercules movie? Very nice. That gave me, that gave me very Sonic vibes, where they punched and he and he rolled back, not Blanca, because you could say Blanca as well, because Blanca rolls, but Sonic, gave me very Sonic vibes. I feel like this dude put in so many Easter eggs from like things that we enjoy that is, I, I'm gonna make another video, pointing that out. That scene where you know Broly's body frames the shot and he punches into the frame, so amazing. So amazing. 
And, you know, Vegeta has more, almost like a fox-like. That is crazy. That is crazy. Because you would think it's over. You would create so much tension. All that build-up for go, for all that build-up, right? And Vegeta turns Super Saiyan. He loses it in one punch from Broly. So sick. And the ground's bouncing. You know, these are all, oh, there's so many cool things happening within this film. And I'm definitely going to do a breakdown. But for now, we're, you know, we're, we're enjoying watching it. The final flash. Everyone loves final flash. The build-up, it never happens. He holds Vegeta's head, punches him out. Like, you would think, because Broly's so strong, right? He holds Broly's He could have killed Vegeta so many times. Um, so the level of tension created in this fight is the, the, the fight design is fire. Um and he's punching Vegeta out of Super Saiyan, and Vegeta's like waking back up. It's almost like knocking somebody out, like in Hajime no Ippo, you know? The fact that he also utilizes energy, the abstract of utilization of energy is crazy. Do you see? He just turned his Super Saiyan energy, all of the little smidge that's left, because he gets he keeps getting getting it punched out of him, right? And he pulls it out. <laughs> what? How many? I've seen that too somewhere from another thing. That motion of, of moving energy. Yeah. And you never think Broly would get his arm cut off. You never think that would happen. Like, you never think that would happen. This is levels. And within a short frame of time, look at how much of a story has happened. Storytelling, bro, as an art form is so amazing. Then you bring weak ass Chi Chi. You know, it's funny because even in the drawing, you think that, and you know, that was horrific. The way that, you know, when bones break, we all know as humans what, that, what, that, what that's like and what that means. So no matter what, there's always an element where there's a human watching this. And if someone can play into our nature and what we react to, it's always going to have a greater effect, even though this is all fantasy. So the fact that Chi Chi comes in there, the, you know, just from a storytelling moment take that breather from that intense situation bro just got his arm cut off Vegeta just got punched out so many times you know what I mean like to then take this break to bring Chi Chi in who's not going to do any damage but you know she's doing her whole thing you know the woman trying to think there's so many things you can pull out of that moment you know and then she screams you're like oh my god what's going to happen next all right finally Goku has a moment which is funny because a lot of the, in the comments, people were saying they, they love, and this is very classic, right? Very classic. When Goku first turned Super Saiyan, all the fans know. So, but also it's, it comes out a little different, almost like a Super Saiyan 4. Like a, this, is, this is particularly for me where I saw, this is like, more like a Chinese animation now. Those who've watched Chinese animations that can tell the difference, know what the hell's going on. So even the drawings, even the, even the animation of this, of, for the whole film, is, is, is closer to Chinese uh, style animation. That's why I say the Indian and the Chinese are similar. I know what the hell I'm talking about. So, um, and look at the fight style of Goku. It's very monkey-like now, because you see he's, he was laying on the ground looking up. So there's so many cool things happening. With the classic, uh, that punch was a little weak in my opinion. The animation, that little piece of animation was a little weak with the, uh, that was so dope though. Because that's a call back to the movie. Uh, I don't know if the, if it was only the latest movie where he powered up, when he, when he powered up his uh, energy and it crossed dimensions. Uh, but, and the color changes, but I can't remember all that. But yeah. So the fact that these guys teamed up. To do a Kamehameha and that little energy thing that happened there to connect the two. This guy knows what he's doing from a, from a design and planning standpoint. It's, it's so many cool things. And then to bring in this purple energy, which is, you know, Vegeta's energy, which is more like a Gallic gun. Combining with the Kamehameha wave to take out. So great. And the fact that he made Brody look so crazy on that. And then the way that shot happened, because it's so, so simple... To have him shoot through the wall. I remember. So great. And we all know Goku. I mean, Goku cares about Chi-Chi and people and all that stuff. But I feel like Goku definitely took the weekend of this of this uh, fight. Even though we know him to be the protagonist. But we, Vegeta's definitely getting shine in this film. 
a race of golden warriors. I love when the tail came up because that's their united front. Um, he's telling him about his light, his primal light. There are layers of other ideas coming in here. The days are numbered under the sun. Marry that woman while you have a chance. It's some real talk. We have to prepare. Prepare for what? And he says, I'm going to let it happen. War. Exactly. So now you know, because it's a fighting game. It's a fighting show. So you're going to believe that. Of course, it's war. We're always, they're always at war so at some point in the story. And um, because you know so much, there's so much buying that you've had already that the idea of war is always going to get you excited for what's going to happen next. So he has an opportunity to take this fan fiction to another level and continue on. As long as he can keep everybody's buy-in and keep feeding us the love, maybe he can, you know, have his own little side story happening. Side note, I love the fact that he made Broly pale. That's another little thing that I feel like calls back to uh, the people, the brown people of the uh, Southern Asian persuasion is that it gets real, real with the pale versus the brown. And I think that was a nice little play at hand. Now, were all these things intentional? Huh. At some level, I feel like they were. Go And Brawley ain't done yet. I love the sound as well of space. Very classic, old school. Uh, RD, RDC guys pointed that out. That was pretty dope. Yeah. These drawings, by the way, as a Sakuga man, Sakuga fan, hey, these drawings is fire, my guy. Sakuga for sure. You get to you get put in my edit whenever I make a Sakuga joint. And the fact that he says Vegeta instead, he's this dude is playing with us in the right ways. Some people be playing with us in the wrong ways. He's playing in the right ways. Holla at your boy. Uh, well, the, I'm going to do another video I where uh, I do some more breakdown and understand and tell you exactly why this uh, thing is so good. Like but I just want to do a quick I'll reaction video just because I saw this this morning. I want to be fresh. Uh, I love that his... <laughs> he looks... Come on, bro. As well, like look at the look. Look at the look. He get, First of all, he gave himself anime hair. Second of all, boy, you need to... Hey, your face focus. That that blew me. As 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 a, as a description of this video. camera so dude, do you gonna do it that high level, and then you gonna come here with the with, with the bullshit video. But you, your video was good enough. But I'm gonna still call you out no matter what. Um, focus and stamina and budget and time. Shout out to him. Also, he knows how to talk. He knows how to present. I I love that he knows how to write. Um, meaning that you know, in the beginning when he had the little first credit this thing. Uh, this guy has a lot of things going for him. Like, look at that. Look at that animation. Look at that. Look at that drawing. That's so amazing. So support the artist you love. I do. I ain't gonna say I love you, but I love your work. Shout out to you. Anyway, thank you for your time. And I don't know where you're from, but I'm gonna find out. My planet needs me. Because. Very dope. Very dope. Um, I'll be checking out. Hopefully he does more work. On his own, hopefully he can support himself with his own. I don't know what his plans are. And um, thank you for watching. I hope you gained some insight. Hopefully you go watch the film. Uh, like it up. Go to his social medias. Like it up. You know, give him some metrics. You know, let the social media platforms know that they should push this out to more people. Hopefully you enjoy watching this video with me. And you watch another video with me. I got Sakuga videos. I'll also be putting out more animation studies. And we're going to keep this conversation going. Thank you for watching. Have a... Healthy, happy, and aesthetically rich lifestyle with a little bit or a lot of bit of money in your pocket. I don't know what you want out of life, but hey, I'll see you later. Peace.